something uh, fun, but that uh, also is contributing greatly to the life of our society. I mean, you never know, you could end up at the bench units of the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. They would need funds to take care of you, and that's why raising funds is absolutely important. Yes, and that's why we have the Ghana Grand Tour. The British High Commissioner, Ian Walker, is doing all that, and it's because um, this is expected to raise funds, as Mamavi said, for the Kolebu Teaching Hospital Benz unit. And there was um, a number of activities in the journey, but we want to bring you a wrap of it. High Commissioner and his colleague are about to participate in the Go Ball game. This is a game for the visually impaired. It's quite challenging, even when you've been playing it for a while. But let's watch how Ian Walker does in this game. Go! My titty. Go! For the game. Thank 
Zakaria has just called for Tamale Metro. Well done, Zakaria. Yes. Well done. Well, the Ghana Grand Tour has kicked off in earnest right here in Tamale this morning. And the first stop that the British High Commissioner made was to this place, Sama Sama. Now, what a story uh, this place has. Uh, they have started a rather unique business of building toilets designed specially for the indigenous people of this area, uh, helping to improve the sanitation situation here. But why hear it from me when you can hear it from Valerie, the woman who put it all together by herself, 
it all started in 2015, am I right? Yes, you are right. <laughs> okay, so give us the origin story of Summer Summer. Yeah, so um, Summer Summer was quite interesting. We wanted to understand why um, sanitation coverage was so low in the northern regions um, and with the support and investment from Global Affairs Canada um, we had the opportunity to just start with the research understanding why people are building houses without a bathroom um, and it was interesting we spoke to more than 300 people across the three northern regions and one thing that stood out for me people said that Ghanaians shop at Melcom and Melcom doesn't sell toilets so we thought okay so where should Ghanaians go to get a quality and affordable toilet? So we actually designed a toilet for the three northern regions. We allow people to pay over time, so our cheapest toilet is just 38 cities a month, and we work with local entrepreneurs to build these toilets. And we've been knocking every door across the whole northern region um, just to let people know that we exist, and then it's time for people to upgrade and have a quality bathroom. Is this something you had a, a background in, you know, sanitation? I mean, what is it that led you to this particular idea? So my background is actually in finance. I used to work for EY, um, but I've always had an interest um, for just social businesses that drive uh, shared value from a social perspective. Mm. So I used to be CEO of a company in Kumasi called Clean Team Toilets, which was also a sanitation company. Um, and that focused on urban sanitation and waste treatment. And then I had the opportunity to come to the north and really see how I could impact sanitation coverage. So I would say that it's more of a passion, um, but using business to solve real life problems. Well, what's the reaction been, the, the response from, from the yeah. people you're, you're serving? Yeah, so we now have more than 4,900 toilets being used by 40,000 people across the northern regions of Ghana. And I would say that I'm just so enthused by the fact that people are prepared to invest in upgrading their own lives, um, that we have a lot of young people, more than 200 young people working for us, selling toilets, building toilets, financing toilets. So I'm just really excited and, and really happy with the reception we've had in the northern region, which is why now we're moving further south. We've just started selling in Offense or in Kintampo, Atabubu and Hohoi. Mm. Now yeah. I'm, I'm hearing that uh, in addition to this, you're also doing something rather innovative with farming. Tell us about that. So most people in the rural communities in Ghana are farmers. And we have sought to try and understand why, particularly in communities where they have access to water, where they have access to a dam particularly, people are still not really farming arable lands. So our focus has been on establishing community partnerships in areas where people have access to water to lay irrigated service plots, teach people how to farm vegetables. And we've been partnering with an agri-tech platform, a local Ghanaian business called Complete Farmer, who actually find buyers for vegetables and allow ordinary Ghanaians to invest per acre um, for these farms so that smallholder farmers have access to uncollateral finance. Now you're a, 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 a British Ghanaian. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and this is the year of return. Uh, talk, talk to me about that. Uh, what, what, um, what is it that made you yeah. feel that uh, settling and doing business here in Ghana was the choice for you? Yeah, so I was saying my year of return was actually 2008 and I came for Ghana at Christmas, two weeks, and it's kind of escalated from there. I just kept th seeing things that a lot of people saw as problems, but I saw as opportunities for us to develop businesses to actually solve those social problems and employ young people. So for me, it's been, um, I always say that I recommend especially of those us imported Ghanaians to come home and really build businesses, use our skills to just make a difference. Valerie, so, yeah. what a pleasure. Thank okay. you so much for making the time. Thank you very much. And best of luck. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, we can do Ian. Well, Ian, it's all begun, right? We're in Tamale, uh, where it's all about to kick off. And your first stop was here, Sama Sama. Why? So Sama Sama, uh, Valerie, um, who runs Sama Sama, is a, a Brit Ghanaian. Um, I just found out we both trained, actually, at Ernst & Young in London together. She came back to Ghana in 2008 and has kind of created this amazing organisation, Sama mm. Sama, producing and enabling kind of the provision of toilets. Um, as, as I said to her earlier, it seems so simple, but what she has done, I think, is really kind of bring real-life solutions to 
to real people in not just here in Tamale but around the whole uh, northern region and, and beyond. And I think providing that kind of clean, uh, you know, the, the kind of the, the custom built toilets cheaply mm. and they're hugely popular. I think they now provide toilets, clean toilets to 30,000 people uh, around, around the north. So, um, you know, one of our big focuses here as part of our uh, Ghana Grand Tour is focusing on health. Uh, what more important could be talked about than kind of clean sanitation and waste and, and the embodiment of that through Valerie is tremendous. Yeah, now you planted a tree while you were here. Tell me about that, what's the symbolism there? So I think the importance of planting the tree for me is about saying, well, first of all, I, I think trees matter. That one tree, sadly, would make all the difference. But uh, I think trees matter um, because we are seeing deforestation across the country. It's really important, I think, mm. that we take trees and the, 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 the planting of trees really seriously. So everywhere we go, we'll be planting uh, a tree. And it's important as well because we want want to plant some roots here. Uh, mm. I really love what they are doing uh, here. Uh, uh, this this next uh, 10 days is going to be um, a, a kind of a trip and it will, after 10 days it risks being over. Mm. That's not how we want it to be. It's about planting roots and the continuation of much to follow. So uh, that's the symbolism of it and uh, you know more power to Sam and Sam as well. Fantastic work they're doing. Right, now you've got lots more to do today so uh, as they say on your bike, right? On my bike. Okay. Great stuff. <laughs> Thank Cheers. you very much. Ian. Thank you. Go to right. Cheers. <coughs> Uh, let's let's do so. Uh, Sama Sama is a, an actually an IDE Canada project. So the, the funding comes through IDE Canada, and Stuart Taylor is the CEO. Uh, so uh, Stuart, good to see you. Uh, great work here. What made IDE Canada interested? in working with Sama Sama? Well, IDE's had a lot of success with sanitation marketing in other parts of the world, particularly South And for a long time, there's been a very strong desire to bring that same success mm. to Sub-Saharan Africa. And we had an opportunity uh, with funding from Global Affairs Canada mm. uh, to bring that here to, to Northern Ghana. Mm. Uh, and so that was the genesis of the project. Right, now it's gone through quite a life cycle. Tell me about it. There must have been uh, quite, a, uh, quite a challenge, you know, developing a brand new product for people who have not yet uh, experienced uh, sanitation this way. That's right, and I mentioned you know we'd had success in Southeast Asia, but of course mm. you can't just take a product and a solution that's worked somewhere halfway around the world and just mm. parachute it in. So we had to go through quite an extensive process up front of doing what we call human-centered design. So really going deep into local context, local markets, the environment, mm. to come up with a solution that works here in Northern Ghana and would mm. be actually successful. Mm. Right, mm. so what's the future? Uh, with uh, ID uh, Canada and Summer Summer? Well, we're just at this point really pushing now, now that we've got a product that works, a solution that people actually want mm -hmm. and, and are buying, uh, to really push on that expansion now. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the primary goal of this project was really to uh, significantly expand access to mm -hmm. clean, durable sanitation across mm -hmm. the northern regions. Mm -hmm. We're now starting to expand also into some of the southern areas mm -hmm. um, and some of the middle belt. Uh, and so that geographic expansion, mm -hmm. as well as continuing to innovate and look at other ways mm -hmm. of really improving on what we have. So, Mm -hmm. starting to link it in with the uh, production of biogas, fertilizer, for example. Mm -hmm. Are there ways in which we can close the loop mm -hmm. uh, so that it's not just about having a, a clean, durable toilet, mm -hmm. but also then what happens to that waste? Mm -hmm. British High Commissioner to Ghana, His Excellency Mr. Ian Walker cycles 1,000 kilometers across Ghana from north to south. Be part of the Ghana Grand, the adventurous journey that seeks to kindle conversations about health, natural environment, tourism, and raise funds for the Kolobu Plastic Surgery and Benz Unit. Support the fundraising call by dialing MTN short code star 700 star 9 hash. Follow the prompt and type in the code the Ghana Grand or Vodafone Cash. 0207-566-351 or the standard chartered account 0100-104-061-801. Follow at UK in Ghana across all social media platforms for all updates with the hashtag the Ghana Grand. The multimedia group is proud to be the media partner.